Carbon Animation here, and today I'll be showing you how to draw. Now, before we start doing that, I'm going to start doing it in a sketchbook, and I'm going. I'm first going to show you this um, thing I've been working on. It's a little small animation test I've been doing because I wanted to like uh, get better at um, my animation. So you may think that this is actually a free-handed animation. Um, it is not. Um, it was actually done before I deleted the sketches. It was done um, sketch first. Um, the rain was not part of the idea. It was first just an idea of him just having his hair flowing and in the wind, and it looked at all. Even though I had this, it didn't look as like as much as I wanted it to look. So I added rain as well, and the rain looks very different. And my frame rate has probably dropped by showing this. It's because, and also, um, the rain is blurry because I wanted to give it that real realistic rain look because rain is not really solid, I think, when you see it. It does have a, quite a blur, but since, but if that's not even the case, I wanted to do it still because it's an animation and you can see the atmosphere of this animation, um, that he's like mad over something that he's probably lost or he's angry and he wants to get at someone. Or he just like witnessed something that really got on his nerves. I wanted to have that type of feel to it, cause I wanted to make something like uh, a bit drama-ish, um, less funny. I mean, I know I'm good at doing stuff funny, but as you can see, it's just a test, cause I can see the error right here, where I can see um, <coughs> the um, see now this is on one layer. The clothing's on one layer. Even this shirt is on the same layer, cause they both the same thing. If I select it, you can see that they're both the same thing. Um, this, on the other hand, is a symbol. If I go inside of it, you can see that it's a symbol. And that I have put the eye here on two. That's what I like about symbols. Like, if I wanted to do like something shaking and I didn't want to work on, like, multiple um, frames and copy and pasting frames, like, in the main timeline, I can do it in the symbol line, as long as it doesn't have any... Um, lip syncing or anything to do or audio because the audio won't play in um this timeline if you put in your in your, put it in your um symbol it won't work but yeah i wanted to just show this out like all of these are on their own layers the hands are their own symbols and they're also shaking if you can see that you probably can't see it but if you look at the lines they change up but i did it in such a way where they're only on twos. So what I mean by they're only on twos, well actually they're one they're on ones. And the ones make them well, I just wanted to show you this um little animation I did here. Once again I'm gonna play it for like five seconds. And you can just feel the atmosphere. I, I hope you guys at least feel the atmosphere of this. I it it's not like one hundred percent anime ish like I really wanted to get to, but maybe that will happen in the future. But right now everything is just um you can also tell that the hair this is like I said, this is a test, and of course the hair is probably not in your liking. If I showed this on Newgrounds, I would get a whole bunch of legitimate either hate or constructive criticism, but even though if you give me constructive criticism, it will probably take me a while to get used to trying to fix out the hair and stuff, and I really actually re appreciate constructive criticism here on YouTube. It's better than just you putting a like, a dislike, and not telling me what the issue is. Okay, so let's begin. So, um, I'm going to use two different colors like I did for this animation here, but I'm going to use it here in, um, in Sketchbook. Now, my computer is probably going to be an a-hole to me because the frame rate is killing me at times. Um, also, because I have my, um, internet, my internet browser up, let me just do, alright. So, I'm going to be using, now what some people I think don't, don't tell you is it's really good to use like, um, and it doesn't really matter, I think it doesn't matter on your brush that you use, but maybe it does. Um, yeah, I'm going to just hold this up a bit. You can see that my computer is actually lagging. That's because I don't really have a good computer to be doing this type of stuff, but I can't really show you guys, um... What can I not show you? I can't show you 
me drawing on paper because one, I don't have a good decent lighting system. Um, my lamp is a very dimming lamp and it's only good for taking pictures of the final product. Um, and also I do not have the, uh, the stuff to show me drawing from eagle eye view which other people have. So right now I'm drawing with a red. Now if anyone can guess in the comment section about why I'm drawing with red. Um, and if you say that I'm drawing with red because um, I want to do the basic shapes in red and leave the details for a different color, then you're absolutely correct. If you say something else, then you're absolutely uh, not getting five points for Gryffindor. <laughs> All right, so um, here. I think that was a. Um, what was it like a um, stream I think I did and I said that I'm not sure if the stream's still there because I removed a lot of stuff that showed my face um, because one no one wants to look at my face I don't I'm not really sure about that but hell I'd rather just show the drawing maybe one day when I get big I'll probably show my face but my face is really not important what's important is what I'm doing it reminds me of that thing that guy in Hateful said my name is not important what's important what I'm about to do. I get so fucking sick of this world. <laughs> uh, my name is not important. I watched the uh, Escapist, I think his name is, and he was like, apparently we have a character whose name is, uh, he says that he says his name is not so important. I forgot what he called him, but it was very hilarious. Um, you should look up the video and you should actually subscribe to that guy. He's very, uh, he's very hilarious. He's like a, he's like a British dude in my eyes, but he says he's from Australia. And I think I just realized that he's also, Aus that he is Australian. Um, so yeah, here is the basic, um, it may not look even basic, but this is the basic in my eyes. Um, this is the basic color sketch. And if you're wondering why I'm panning and scrolling, it's for me to get used to drawing my computer. Because if I just, for me, I just like to use that. Because I usually pan when I draw also on my paper when I'm making my artwork. Um, I like just panning. I like panning. Even on here, when I was doing this animation, I was panning because it helped out a lot. I really can't explain why it helps. It, it helps to get to the places, even, in, even when you're zoomed in. Like, I'll zoom in here, and I will start, um doing the details in another color. Now when I'm in animation, I would make the details on the uh, render of the character um, blue. So in this one, I'm going to turn down the um, opacity and I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna work and put in the details. And yes, there will be music in this video. I'm so sorry to bore you guys with not looking into music or any of that. Because I have to choose it from YouTube, so I'm saying. I'm not sure if my music. I'll try to make some music if I can um, for my tutorials. Um, because I look at drawlers, uh, artists, um, stuff. Now, listen, this is, <laughs> this is not the best that I've seen. I have really stopped uh, digital painting because I've been doing a lot of drawings for Amino. So please forgive me, and I know some of you guys from Amino are probably watching this video, or probably are going to be watching this video, and if my brother was in here, he'd probably think I'm crazy, and he'd probably think I'm talking to myself. Alright, let's delete all that, that was horrifyingly bad. I'm also using a salad ink, as you can see. My computer makes me want to just smash it into itty bitty pieces. Frosted Pebbles. I remember looking at that stuff like back in the day. Um, what I mean by back in the day, I mean like the early 2000s. Those were the times where before the permanency got viral and all this jazz started happening about all this stuff that everybody talks about. I used to be on YouTube um, back in 2008. It wasn't the best. It was the best for me though. I mean, I was an animator, a young Wookiee animator hobbyist, and I still am. 
but you can tell how far I've came if you look at my um, older videos, but you can't look at them because they've been deleted by my brother when I was trying to be entertainment. He did not like the idea of me trying to get him out there in the world. So he deleted my channel and all of my Pivot animations. I really want to bring back Pivot. Um, I just, I'm just trying to figure out how to bring it back. Insane Annie um, is it was was an animation I did back in um, 2008 to 2009, and I continued doing it up to 2011 before my brother deleted my channel. Um, at the time, also I was using Toon Boom. Now, to me, Toon Boom was difficult at the time, but I think I could do a lot much more better on uh, Toon Boom. This video will probably be uploaded and take almost eternity to be uploaded. Hopefully not. Um, so I'm drawing like a random uh, manga, because that's my style. I draw manga type looking characters, but even if my character is American, he'll look like he's Japanese. And also, we do have Japanese Americans, so you can't say that, oh, I'm not drawing Americans. Because Americans are now any nationality. They used to be just um, Caucasian, as you should know from, and people who were not Caucasian were treated differently. But I'm not going to talk about race. Let's not talk about that, because no one wants to hear that. Everybody wants to look at drawings. Let's be happy. Let's stay with the happy times. Stay with the happy times. Let's don't go back to the dark days. Let's don't be reminded. Yeah. And if you were doing this as an animation, um, you would flip back and forth to like see where your details are and to make sure that you're doing everything right. When you flip back and forth, which I learned from uh, some people, I did not really test that out. I still do the um, same thing that I do in my... Um, that I showed in my animation tutorials, people saying that I should make people pay for that, and no, not really. I mean, it's a very rookie um technique. Not, it's not very viral. I mean, even though it has like a thousand, like it was, it's so ridiculously crazy, but it's absolutely good that you guys actually really enjoyed that tutorial I did. Um, I was really not expecting that. People really looked at that animation tutorial and looked at it, like literally looked at it and thought, holy shit. And in case you guys, you guys please understand that I am like 20 years old, alright? 20 years old is a lot of progress, especially if you keep it up and you don't stop doing it. Also, I would like to say, make sure to zoom in um, to make sure to... I mean, unless you have a better working tablet than mine. Mine mine has um, issues when it comes to drawing. And you probably can't see them, but it glitches out. So what I realized is that problem I have with my tablet, it glitches in and out. But you guys will probably never understand that. And you can probably hear the humming even if the music is playing. I'm very sorry, but... I'm still trying to look up this tutorial on how to um, destroy the humming that you would probably hear inside of this video from my computer, because my computer is very close to my mic, and I know it shouldn't be close to my mic, but listen guys, I have a very small space. Okay, so like I said, this is like um, the, this is like the, um, so, Woo! Okay, I'm so sorry. Um, so here you have the blue, which is the details, and you have to make sure, what I learned the hard way is, go around and make sure to, like, um, have this way in the back. Like, even if you, like, already drew the arms in that color in the basic shape, it's not going to show up here if you just have them right here um, on that layer, like on this layer. Like, if I didn't have the arms here, like, for example, um going to use my lasso tool, and I'm going to delete this on purpose. Okay, so like I said, like, see this? You see all of this here, right? But the basic shape um, for the red, like if we had the red arm here, 
like on this layer, but we start looking on this layer, all of the stuff ain't going to show up on the finished layer, and it's going to look like we cut it out, which we actually, which I actually did. I keep on saying we. I'm very sorry, you guys. It's um. This looks really good. This is so much better than my older tutorials that I did back in my past. If you really want a link, um, please comment below, and um, I will give a link to the uh, video. I cannot see anything. Um, okay, that did not work either because that made the lens very. That made the lens very small. Right, let me turn it up to see that works. Also, I'm getting a job, guys. Um, I'm going to start getting a job, and I'm going to buy myself more equipment. It's okay, you guys. It's okay. I mean, I really did want to... God, is it happening again? No. Oh, my God. I'm going to cut that out because, one, I think I burped. And last time I remember, back in my old days as a YouTuber, someone called me, you burp, you fuck, you nasty fuck, and I'm like, it was an accident, dude, it was an accident. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, those were the days when I was granddad. So I'm just polishing it up. Um, so when you do this layer, this blue layer here, um, and you like finish it up, you can see that it looks almost completely dumb, right? Well, that's where you're wrong. Um, so like you got this layer here that's all full with the details and so forth. And if you were doing this with an animation, you would continuously like check back and forth, make sure that the proportions and everything is correct. Um, so after that, you would go lower this frame down if you're working in TV paint, but if you're not, you would have to do the hard process. Or you could just, um, if you're working on Flash, which I will show you right now, like if you were working in Flash, um, and you wanted to like do your thing, but you didn't want to. Uh, you wanted to do your sketches and your details, um, and you wanted to like trace over them with the details and stuff. You would um, turn down the opacity of your uh, stroke down to like what 27, and voila. People would say to me, you shouldn't be able to be teaching this stuff. Well, God damn it, people need to learn something. That's not like everyone has money, all right? Not everyone has the money to pay me to learn these things. That's why I do them for free. And in the meanwhile, I get blessings from it. It may not be money, but at least it's respect. Apparently, people have money up their ass a bit too much. Sorry, guys. Okay, so... I'm just giving an example about why and how people want me to be teach like, oh, watch my tutorial for like 50 freaking dollars. Yeah, that's a smart idea. Yeah, let me lose all my subscribers. Let me lose everyone that thinks that I'm a great guy. Yeah, and call me a sellout. Yeah, that's a real smart idea. Even though I seem very successful, like people like Jazza do this type of thing, but they waited. They waited to get, they waited to get those type of subs. And now since they have them, they think they can now do that. And they can. Um, I really don't see a problem with being a sellout, as long as it's something that you love to do. But I do have a problem when it comes to doing fan art. Because it scares me about, like... I mean, the Disney thing definitely scares me. I mean, you don't even say it's yours, but if you're getting paid for it, yes, yeah, it's, it's definitely a problem in um, Disney's eyes, so you might want to not do that. So, I, oh my god, I really just went, like, all out with this one, didn't I? This is just supposed to be a simple sketch. 
I don't know why. I like the nineties um anime. It just had a lot more atmosphere, realistic atmosphere. Um, anime today, I don't really watch a lot of it because I'm too busy. You see what I'm doing. This is why I can't. I know people recommend me to watch um, TV shows, anime shows, and I know that's going to help me out a lot when it comes to um, making, um, what is it, videos or animations if I watch these things. I did watch One Punch Man, and that was very fun. That was really funny. And it was actually very enjoyable. Um, I can't really tell if there was like actually a real serious moment because all I know is this guy just keeps coming up and just keeps on pushing everybody out. I mean, I really don't like anime deaths. Like, I see cute characters dying. It really pisses me off. But sometimes it gets me into a creative field where, like, you know, I want to create a guy in my animation where he loses his girlfriend and, like, literally slaughters the guy who did it just to show my reaction to how I feel about those type of things. So when like you have your sketch, you can bring up the opacity, the, yeah, the alpha, which is also the opacity, and then start to do your inking, the digital inking. Because it's not a lot of people, um, especially me, do um, traditional because there's like different um, types of traditional, like there's 2D, there's traditional, which is, I think anime is also traditional, even though it really doesn't look like it anymore, it looks like it's just 2D. Um, God, this should have been a... Uh, this definitely should have just been a thing. But I couldn't add music to it, so this. Or maybe I could have. I wasn't thinking. And my stylus stopped working because it malfunctioned. And that's the type of thing I was talking about when I said it glitched. So yeah, this is why I like the pan and scroll. It helps me to stay in um, the, the control of what I'm doing. And guys, if you like Eggos, guess what I have for breakfast? I had Eggos. I had Eggos. Eggo, my Eggo. I remember that there used to be like a, um, there used to be commercials back in the early 2000s. I'm not sure when it ended, probably back in 2007. But I remember watching Cartoon Network and I would see that, like, Ego girl and her dad trying to steal her egos. <laughs> you guys probably don't understand what I'm saying because at the time, you guys were probably like toddlers. Maybe not. Because I have audiences of different ages, I think. It's really funny when I look back at when I was, just because I made a few Mark Blatter animations, I'm actually glad I made those animations, and I didn't just do them for views. I did them because I also liked Markiplier. I forgot to put this inking one on a different layer, but make sure to do that. Make sure before you ink the sketch or you do the finishing touches of the sketch, make sure you put the ink version on the top of that one. Like, make sure you don't draw inside the sketch layer, because this is what will happen, and you can't delete it out or else you're going to ruin everything. You're going to ruin your entire um, thing you have to do with this. And trust me, you don't want to do this. This is frustrating. But yeah, that's how you would actually do it. That's how you would um, create the uh, character. Now, this is my style. I'm sure many people have their own type of style of how they draw. You just got to know um, how you're going to animate your style. Like, he's not as um, detailed, and I'm sure that I don't add, like, lots of details to my characters. I mean, I think I do, but I seriously think I don't because um, my characters, they be, um, they're like cartoons mixed with anime. That's what I like to call them. They're like 
cartoon mixed with anime characters um because they're not like fully like animators and we know what anime is even though this is looking very badass and I love it and I just did this for just like an example let me get the um thing from here Oh my gosh, it, it, it really makes me want to put a tear in my eye because of how far I came, like skilled I am, and how I have people that like enjoy my work. Wow. I can't believe it's like almost about to be two years. Two years. And I'm already at 600 views. There used to be a time where I had no views at all. So it was easy on that one in Flash. Now, if I can go and make the ink. And put the ink in. Now I'm not gonna mess this one up. I'm gonna make sure I put this one over here. Okay. So there's a lot of knowledge in this video. You will, I guarantee you, you will love this video. Even though people say I should make people pay for this video, I will not, because you guys are my fans. You're, you're, you guys are my like animation and drawing family out of my real family at least because no one in my family actually draws except for me that's why I love you guys because you're artists you're people who want to become artists and I really respect you for that and I want to be the guy who inspire one of the guys who inspires you to make your dreams come true even if you're getting bullied even if you're feeling hurt, trust me, I've been there. I've been bullied. I've been treated like crap. Still getting treated like crap a bit. My brother didn't let me talk to his friends. He thinks I'm a weirdo. And it's going to take almost forever to upload this video. So I really hope this video is actually worth it. And I will um, let you guys know. I mean, don't just like me for my art. I really hate, I'm not going to say I hate people for doing that, but yeah, love me for my art, but love me for who I am as well. Um, I know that sounds crazy. I mean, Maybe it's not crazy. I don't know. I don't know how people would think these days. I know there's a lot of people who like white people for their skills. But trust me, I'm a nice guy. I'm not like like that that a hole at your doorstep or that your idiotic brother bothering you, teasing you, and making you angry. I'm a very nice guy. But I shouldn't be saying that. I mean, I'm black. I'm black. And I'm not that type of person to be like, you're white. <laughs> Duh. Uh, cringe. Like, I really hate that, but when people, like, try to say that, oh, these people are the problem, but these are the same people who support us. I mean, like, it's not... Not everyone is evil. You say that one race is evil, of course you're going to insult people. Oh my god, come on now. This is why I probably don't do digital drawing. So the digital drawing does not look as flavorful, but luckily this is just a tutorial. But yeah, you can get a lot of stuff done. Sorry for the little rant. Just, you know, YouTube drama. Drama, 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 drama. Marsha, 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 Marsha. Yeah. I'm also, I wanted to really win a, um, be in Jazzy Challenge and try to win, like, a Prudential Pro. Because I really want one. So badly, because my... This one is like, I'm not sure if it's my tablet. I'm sure that there's a glitch in um, my computer because my computer, I think, freezes. 
maybe a dozen. Who knows? There's definitely going to be music playing as John Coffey. That red on for you was just emptying up my computer. I try and make a video entertaining as best as I can. Thirty-one minutes. I'm so glad we're almost done. I should do more of these. But I also want to make one with a good girl. I'll find time to do that. So I'm just going to like um, do this little, like finish up these little line works. Like you can also see that I'm also not making up these lines as I go, but I'm following the lines that I made in my previous layer, which is the blue layer. That way I know what I'm doing and that way I don't have to like go crazy on like um, finding the stuff. Oh, also another thing, if you're using um, any any drawing software, and if you like drawing on a big canvas, I hope you guys already know this, but you can do this. Um, with this tool up here, you just gotta look for um, the symbol icon of this. It's a square and a cross over it, and it's called the crop tool. And you want to use that so you can make sure to um, just get the uh, parts that you want inside your image. So that's how um, you would do it. So when it comes to like seeing those people who do uh, those fancy uh, works um, and how they do their thing, and how they like uh, do their animations or stuff. Now you know like the little secret that they do on um, doing that. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna like name this video. You know, like, you know, I got this all done in a half an hour and explaining. Um, usually it takes I don't know how long for other people to do it. But if you guys want these to be streams and not um, videos, let me know. But I really recommend this just to be, to be videos until I find a way for YouTube to um, allow me to create, for YouTube to create, um, what's the word, um, So, done, and there you have it. Ah, my back. That's because I'd be like sitting up front and looking at um stuff I do for you guys. I really, really, I really do appreciate you guys enjoying my content, and also sometimes leaving when I post something that you guys don't want to see, and I really do also appreciate that because you guys let me know that you don't want to see this. Um, sometimes even a comment helps to just get rid of that. I mean, we always, I'm going to just say good content, no, none of the bad content. Um, of course, there's going to be, like, a dislike here and there, but, like I said, you all, you can't please everyone, but you can please people, but if you can't please anybody, there's, of course, it's a problem, um, when it comes to getting out there in the world. So, this is how, like, uh, you would do, um... Like if you were working like in a an animation um, software, or you would do this type of sequence. I had to learn how to. I learned the hard way that oh, you're supposed to use different um, colors when doing your sketches because if you do them all the same color, it will make things look a bit um, off. Um, like if you like take and do like the red, all the red here. And just do like the details on top of it. You're gonna get lost in that. You won't know what you're doing. So it's best to do all the details in the renderings and blue before you do your final. 
do your final um, piece. Or finish up your finish up reading your final piece. So yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. You guys are really a great audience. I mean, when I call myself a one-man show, um, I knew I like had like I wanted to have skills, but I didn't know it was gonna happen this quick. I thought it was gonna happen like in like ten years or something, but no, this stuff is this. My skills are like evolving, like at crazy rates. So. I'm going to post this up on Amino. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. And if you go to the animation community in Amino, um, you will see this piece here. But yeah, thank you guys so much for enjoying my content. I, I really know you guys are probably sick of me saying that. but um, But no, really you guys. I mean, really, thank you. So my name is Marvin Animation, and I'm signing off. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.